is especially important in this group of women. And many times I had patients that told me, you should educate us when we are very young, because we don't know that we have a biological clock that it's really, really strict. And so sometimes we are very busy in uh, pursuing our careers. It's normal. It's, it's, it has to be like this, because finally we have done uh, many steps culturally. Mm -hmm. But uh, we realize that we want a family at a certain time, and it's, um, many times it's too late, or we need to, uh, to use a donor egg. So uh, the uh, egg freezing is a way to beat the biological clock. And uh, a woman, even if she doesn't have a partner, if uh, is not sure that she would like to have a baby or not, she can, in a certain way, uh, have a parachute, have, um, relax, and uh, think about their career without the stress of the time that is passing. Mm -hmm. Because the pregnancy rate, it will be related to the age of the eggs and not to the real age of the woman. So when you have your eggs in the lab, you are sure, you are safe. Egg freezing is a very uh, easy process and very safe. It involves a mild simulation of the ovaries because we, uh, we want to freeze as many eggs as, we, as possible and uh, to obtain uh, more than one egg every month, like in a natural cycle, we need to take some medication. These medications, unfortunately, are by injections, but this will take only a very, very short uh, time, like around 10 days. Mm -hmm. After that, an easy, with an easy procedure uh, that do not involve any real surgery, the eggs will be collected, and they will be stored in the lab uh, indefinitely. We are able to uh, retrieve the eggs through the vagina uh, with uh, an ultrasound guide. So there are no cutters, no stitches need, and everything is done under sedation, so the patient will not feel any pain during the process. The stimulation can take uh, from 10 days to maximum two weeks, and the egg retrieval itself is a procedure that will take 15, 20 minutes. So women can, can do uh, her normal life, can continue to exercise, can have a normal uh, sexual activity, mm -hmm. and uh, can have a normal diet. And the only uh, thing we will ask her is to come a few times to the clinic because, of course, during the process we will need to monitor the response of the medication. Mm -hmm. Actually, what we are doing, we are uh, stimulating uh, the eggs that normally otherwise we will lose. So every month we recruit several eggs, 15, 20 of them, but only one will win the competition, will grow and give a mature egg. When we do an ovarian stimulation, we give hormones in a different pattern so that we let grow simultaneously all those little uh, follicles, so we will, instead to lose them, we will try to, to get them. If the uh, freezing process, that is actually a vitrification process, is done in a proper structure, in a good lab, uh, you have uh, a very good success because uh, they can be stored for, well, there is not a limit. It will depend on the lab, for sure. There will be a cost every year to keep your eggs uh, stored in the lab. This do not happen because many women do not know even that it exists, and there is uh, probably still in the uh, society a little bit of uh, worry about it, freeze eggs, there are concern about losing fertility, there is a lot of uh, lack of knowledge. So we, I think uh, it's very important that we are here talking about it because we need to spread this uh, this technique that is something that really can change the life of women. I think egg freezing is one of the most um, achievement, the biggest achievement that uh, medicine has done in uh, the last years.